Previously, in part one, Joel Hansen and Leah Shutkiever take on a giant full English breakfast challenge that had been failed over 1,000 times and only ever completed just a mere once. At that, faced with these giant breakfasts weighing eight pounds each, featuring black pudding, eggs, bacon, sausage, hash browns, 12 pieces of bread, not to mention french fries, tomatoes, beans, they dove on in with guns a-blazing. But the Harry's Breakfast Challenge was no match for these skilled challengers, and they both finished up in a mere, well, less than half the time, we'll just put it that way. But that is when a third challenge appeared, out of nowhere, was it for show, or was it to be eaten? It would have been impossible to have eaten two of these challenges, but cheered on by the crowd, Joel said, well, let me see what I can do. At least we'll give it a bite. And with Leah's successful completion, Joel Hansen prepared on the ultimate gastric challenge of somehow trying to complete two of these English breakfast gastric bombs. So risking his health and his well-being with a 60 minute time limit and an additional 35 pounds on the line, Joel accepts the challenge. 12 seconds later. How, how, how did you find the black book? I like it. I've had, I've had it uh, three times before and it's, it's pretty good. It, it definitely depends, like everybody said, it definitely depends on the black pudding. Some is a little uh, better than others in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, you can take rid of that. And this here? Um, yeah, please by all means. Leah, would you mind grabbing me like a couple cans of Pepsi Max and a thing? All right, everybody, so I am saying I will try to eat some of this. By no means do I actually think I will complete this. Um, I really don't, to be honest. And I'm not, this is not an official challenge attempt. I did, only did the one, they brought this out though. I don't like to see food go to waste, believe it or not guys. I'm not just a pure glutton that believes in wasting. So I'm gonna see how much this I can eat. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a shot. I'm not gonna try to kill myself because I didn't, if I tried two from the start, I'd be at risk killing myself, but I didn't. So anyway guys, it was very delicious. Let's see how much this I can get through at least a little bit. Let's have some fun. I literally just removed my camera. And here we are. They've only taken Leah's plate away now, so. Ugh. Wish me luck, everybody. Let's see what this is all about. So let's get started here right now. 125. Mm. But more buttered bread. Mm. Buttered toast to be specific. Very good. I did just bite my lip, though. Lip does not taste as good. Buttered bread, very good. Get some eggs. I think the sandwiches will be key. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are still here at Harry's Cafe in Fowler's Bike Showroom here in Bristol, United Kingdom. Here taking on the second, yes, the second challenge. If I do this, this actually is probably the... So I'm assuming you watched the intro and you are aware of what is happening, but just in case you're not, let me clarify it one more time real quick. Biggest solid food challenge I've ever done. I ate 20 pounds of ice cream before, but that's different. So my good friend Leah Shakiva and I came here and did their breakfast challenge. We both successfully complete that challenge, and upon completion, they actually had a third challenge prepared, which they presented to me. I looked at them and said, um, what's going on here? And they said, well, we kind of have an extra challenge here, uh, kind of as a joke. Well, I decided that I would give it a shot. I said, fine, you know what, hey, I'll, I'll try it. I'll, I don't know how much this I could eat. I really did not anticipate I'd be able to eat that much of it. Um, the challenges are eight pounds each. So this is a legit eight pounds. The first one was eight pounds. So if somehow I was able to complete this, that would be 16 pounds of food, which I have never eaten before. I gotta say though guys, I love the breakfast. Here's a good breakfast. That's right, Harry's Cafe guys. So it is a full English breakfast challenge. Oh, I got one here my friend. 
I appreciate it. I love it. They said, you want another mustard for the bread? Guys, the staff are amazing. Featuring all the English favorites. If I complete this, there'll be 24 pieces of bread today. That's too much. Such as bacon, sausage, fried bread, buttered bread. We have chips. We have like hash browns. We have mushrooms. We have tomatoes. We have beans. Um, all kinds of delectable items. Standardly for the challenge, you have 60 minutes to complete the large breakfast. And it had only been completed once, once before Leah and I in over a thousand attempts. So this is a very large and very difficult challenge. Oh, and there's also black pudding on it. Let me know what you think of black pudding down below. If you're not familiar, blood pudding and or bla you know black pudding is blood sausage essentially. And if I fail this, this is not my first official food challenge win because this was not planned, not attempted. So with absolutely nothing to gain and absolutely everything to lose, for some reason I decided to quest and see how much of this actual challenge I could complete and that's essentially where we are now so that is the full catch up in case for some reason you did not watch part one you did not watch the intro but i promise you from here on out i will not be repeating any such information as you should all definitely be caught up on the situation and exactly what is going on Oof. There's a good handful that have pushed me to like the point where I felt like I was going to die. Really? So it's kind of hard to pick just one. If I actually try to complete this, this will probably also kill me. <laughs> not, ac not actually kill me. I won't sue anybody, I promise. Well, I promised I wouldn't sue anybody, but this may actually kill me. This is definitely one of those things which was better in theory than in practice. So the staff at Harry's were absolutely fantastic, and if you're at all in the Bristol area, you definitely gotta go and buy. This place is literally in a Mike motorcycle showroom, which is super cool. Like literally it was bike shop down below. It smelled like new cars, which was really, really unique. Um, and this cafe on the upper floor, man, they got good breakfast, solid quality local ingredients. I gotta say though, still delicious. I love these mushrooms. Bacon's great. And this definitely made my experience in Bristol very, very memorable. But at that, I'm pretty much going to leave you to it. That's the majority of the information. Like we said, all kinds of breads, all kinds of foods, and in the quest to see how much of this we could actually eat. Somehow this turned into me trying to eat, um, you know, this second challenge un you know, planned, unannounced, but nonetheless. So I'll let you tune on in. Let me know what you think of this two-part series down below, uh, because this just would have been a ungodly long video to try to include both of these in one. But I always appreciate your feedback. I do always read the comments. So like I said, let me know down below and I love to get to know you. So let's see what happens. Better idea in theory, a lot of food. I don't know, my friend. It's a great question. I'm asking myself that too. Right, guys, Whew. coming on, I don't know, 17 and a half, 18 minutes in, whatever it is. The 
biggest thing is I feel some movement in my lower abdomen, which is not great. I'll put it that way, I won't get into descriptors. But that's what I experienced with the last English breakfast. Ooh, gave me some uh, unpleasantries. So we're gonna get the hash browns done. I do feel like death though, but we're this close. I might as well keep trying. Down to this, everybody. Whew. Showtime. This is do or die, and I didn't sign up to do or die, so let's see if we can do it. And don't worry, I'm not actually gonna die. Every time I say that, she gets scared. It's just my vocabulary. And if you made it this far in the video and didn't just skip to the end, I'm gonna reward you with some interesting information. You'll notice, for example, like my sinuses are running, you hear me sniffling, that is a defense mechanism, just like your eyes tearing or watering, um, of basically your body trying to get you to stop eating. So it's kind of in freak out panic mode because I'm eating so much food, so that's one way it's trying to make me stop. You'll notice my breathing is more laborious, I'm mouth breathing, there's a lot more kind of smacking and stuff going on because I have to fully breathe through my mouth. And this is because the breathing is more labored. Because my stomach is so full of food, I'm just like if you were pregnant, there's actually less room in my uh, abdomen, my cavity, to uh, have my lungs expand. So I'm having to breathe, you know, more shorter breaths. And plus, this is a physical feat. So just like after heavy exercise, etc., um, you know, you're more labored in your breathing. It's a lot shorter breaths, and you've got to breathe through your mouth. Do you guys have ice by chance? Tomorrow morning. Whew. I feel sorry for whoever's on the plane with me. <laughs> okay. I did. I'll figure I'd try. Oh. Do I regret my decision? Yes, but here we are.
can you hold those fries on the back of my neck, please? Do your followers know why you do this? No. Oh, okay. Neither do I. You'll have to. <laughs> That's over in the three challenges. I meant the ice on the neck. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now you can tell them. And if you're not familiar of why I'm icing the back of my neck, uh, if you are feeling nauseous and you can kind of shock your system, such as putting ice in the back of your neck, putting ice under your armpit, um, smelling an alcohol swab, these are all uh, kind of old time medical tricks, also used during the time of war to kind of help reduce nausea. So that's exactly what I'm doing. It's not because I'm hot necessarily, it's to try to combat nausea. All right guys, we are real, doing real well. We got like, I think a total of uh, maybe four pieces of bread left. At this point, I just want to try to do it because I'm so close. My signs are so running, it's pretty funny actually. No, I didn't just spit food into a napkin. Being honest with everybody, the issue is I'm trying not to poo myself. That's the difficulty right now. Yeah. Something I wouldn't wish upon anybody. Put this right under my shirt. Just shove it up there. Ooh. Woo! Oh boy. Whoa. Oh man. That is cold. <laughs> Feels good though. Alright, buddy, we're so close. Delicious, isn't it? It's uh, oh, it's, 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 it's Pepsi. Oh, is it Pepsi? Pepsi. Pepsi. I thought it was tea. Uh, <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah. It's just... Tastes great. All of Joel's followers. I hope that you're all subscribed to his channel for this. This is suffering for your craft. Like, like the video, comment down below. Please God save Joel. Yes. <laughs> and subscribe before you leave and then share this video with everyone. We want it to go viral. Come on, Joel, you can do this. So I'm close. I'm gonna look like the, enc the encourager, the, the coach. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's all on me, the liability is all on me. There is a bag of frozen peas, uh, frozen peas, frozen chips of <laughs> Joel's, of Joel's t-shirt, which I find hilarious. It looks like a hunchback. <laughs> Notre Dame. That's it.
you tell me about that story? About Japan? I don't know, about Hunchback. Tell me a story. <laughs> and it's story. He lived in a bell tower. There was. It's a Disney. It's a, it's a Disney. Like what's the what's the storyline of it? Walk me walk me through it. I really wish I knew the actual historically accurate version. Wait, do I need to Google this? Stay there. If I finish the bread, am I done? Yeah, I'd say you're done. Okay. Alright guys, two pieces of fried bread left. Get it done. Oh. Bad idea. I've got this. How about that story? I really wish I Oh, you got it. Okay, we're googling the story. It needs distraction. I'm not very entertaining though. As you all well know. Maybe just any story? Any story. <laughs> Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Here's England. With love, and fried bread. On a food living journey of challenge discovery. <laughs> there we go. After a day of travelling Bristol <laughs> and sightseeing. This is the first time experience for me. Hey, Leah, move out of the way. Move out of the way, Leah. And if you're watching in time of release, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I wish eternal blessings upon you and your families. I wish you health, prosperity, happiness to your own definition. I truly appreciate you all being in my life. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for following. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing with your friends. Thank you for purchasing merch at joeleats.com. Thank you for coming out to my events. The way you have blessed me, I cannot put it properly into words. So like I said, thank you so much. This is for you. I appreciate you. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.